Hey students, uh, today we're going to build our battleship spreadsheets as fast as Mr. Honeycutt can manage. Uh, this is one of my favorite introductory spreadsheets just because I think it introduces you to a lot of the first skills of making a spreadsheet and what better way to get introduced to spreadsheet than playing the game Battleship. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so first things first, you're going to go to your waffle and you're going to click on Sheets. That will lead you to Google Sheets and you're gonna click on the plus button for a blank spreadsheet. All right, once you do that, uh, the first thing that you are going to do once you create that blank spreadsheet, let me adjust my settings real quickly. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go up to the K1 cell. Now I'm gonna be using the cell number quite a bit uh, to direct you on the spreadsheet. So you're gonna to go to K, which you see right here, and one. Um, and you're gonna type in one. You're then gonna to go to K2 and type in two. Now I want you to practice um, working on or taking advantage of how Sheets and Excel and so many other spreadsheets recognize number patterns. So you're going to click on K1 hold the shift button, you're then going to grab the blue circle right here and you're going to drag that all the way down to 15 and let go. And you'll see it automatically fills out 1 through 15 for you. Alright, the next thing you're going to do is go to A1, type in A, B1, or go to A16, excuse me, and type in A. So go all the way to A16, type in A. And you're gonna to go to B16, type in B. Now, I talked about how Sheets is wonderful at recognizing number patterns. Some spreadsheets are not that great at recognizing letter patterns. So you're gonna go all the way from A16 to J16, and you're going to type in the letters like I am. All right, now once that is done, you're going to click on A16, Hold shift, click on J16, and you're gonna give it a fill color. I like making sure the fill color is still pretty light, so on the lighter side, just so I can still see the letters. Now, once you uh, click the fill color, you're then going to center it. So make sure it is center aligned. You'll notice your menu looks a lot like your menu in Google Docs. All right, the next thing you're gonna do is click on A17, hold shift, click on J17. And once they're all selected, you're gonna click on the Merge Cells button. You're gonna click on Merge Cells and you're going to type out Defensive Grid. And you're welcome to make this any font you want to. I'm gonna find a font I like. And you're also going to center it. Now this is a title, so you can make this a little bigger. I'm gonna make this font size 18, I think. And you know what, I'm gonna make that, I'm gonna fill that as well, give that a fill color. Perfect. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing um, from A18 to J18. You're gonna click Merge. And you're going to type out Battleship by your name. Now when I say your name, I don't mean the actual words your name, I mean your name. And I know I typed in Mr. Honeycutt. I usually get like three students a year who turn in um, their battleship signed as Mr. Honeycutt. Make sure you do put in your name here. All right, now same thing. You can change the font to whatever you want to. I'm gonna make this font size 16 and give it a fill. Well, I'll give it a different fill color than that. Feeling something a little different. Yeah, that works. All right, so perfect. Okay, I'm also going to center and give this a fill over from K1 to K15. So I'm gonna go center. And then I'm also going to give this a fill color. All right, perfect. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to where it says sheet one at the bottom left of the spreadsheet. I'm gonna click on that arrow. I'm gonna click rename and I'm gonna rename this defense. After renaming this defense, I'm gonna go back down to this arrow and I'm gonna click on duplicate. Now it's gonna make a new sheet that says copy of defense. I'm gonna click on this arrow again where it says copy of defense and rename this spreadsheet to offense. 
Now, the first thing you're going to want to do once you have your offensive sheet is change the, uh, the wording from defensive grid over here to offensive grid. And then, you know what, I'm going to give it a different fill color so it's really easy for me to go back and forth between one sheet and the other. So that's defensive and that's offensive. All right, that makes it super simple. Now, on my offensive grid, this is where I keep track of all my guesses when I'm trying to sink my opponent's battleships. I'm going to go up to M1. I am going to make this a blue fill color. I'm going to go to M2. I'm going to make this a red fill color. I'm going to go to M3, and I'm going to make this a I'll go silver fill color. All right, so right beside M1 on N1, I'm going to write miss. On M2, right beside the red color, I'm going to write hit. And beside the silver color, I'm going to write sink. So every time I miss my opponent's battleship, if I guess like a cell like F1, I would fill that cell with blue. That would tell me, ah, I missed a ship there, but it also helps me keep track of my guesses. Sometimes these games can go on multiple class periods. It's really important that you keep track of your guesses so that you don't make the same guess over and over and over. Remember, you want to sink your opponent's ships before they sink yours. <coughs> Excuse me. And then if you hit another battleship, so let's pretend like I then guess G4. Red means hit, and if I sink their battleships, I would turn it to that silver color, meaning I sunk their battleship. Now, it's a requirement that your opponent tells you, and that you tell your opponent when they sink your battleships, and you also have to tell them which ships uh, were sunk, or which ship that they sunk. Now, with that said, let's go to our defensive grid, and let's get our ships set. So, once you are on your defensive grid, um, you are going to set your ships. Now you're going to go back to that M1 area and under M1 you're going to type ships. Now on M2 you're going to type five A's. Uh, this signifies, uh, my students usually call it an aircraft carrier. Um, with every letter, every letter takes a cell. So if there's five A's that means it's going to be five cells long. And I'll show you. Um, so if it's five A's that means five cells long. You can make it horizontal, you can make you can make your ships horizontal, you can make your ships vertical. In sheets, if both you and your opponent agree, you can also make them diagonal, which is different than the battleship game. So if both you and your opponent agree, you can make your um, you can make your sheets just like that. Or make your ships diagonal if you and your opponent agree beforehand. Um, you're then going to have number of ships. On N1, drag out your cell so that that fits in there. You get one of those ships right there. Your next ship is a cruiser. That's four, meaning it will take up four cells. It can also be diagonal as well. You get one of those ships as well. Next one is a speeder. You get one of those ships. It's, th it's three letters long, meaning it's three cells long. Um, you then have two U's. I'll call those U-boats. You get two of those ships. Uh, the, of those ships. You finally get two lifeboats as well. That's just one cell long. Your goal is to hide these in as good of a spot as you can. Um, it is against the rules to stack your ships, so you can't like cross over your ships or anything like that. Um, and you want to think about, do you want to spread out your ships as far as possible, or do you want to try to hide them in one place? Um, hiding in one place, there's great risk that comes with that, but also great reward if your opponent can't find where you hid most of your ships and you're able to sink your opponent's ships first. Um, you're then going to want to set your ships, so set them in spots that hopefully are hard to find, and make sure you put the right amount of ships. You should have seven ships total when you are setting your spreadsheet. Um, before you are finished, make sure you put your name and then battleship board. And you're gonna play against your opponent. Um, here it'll be computer, laptop to laptop, so you can't see where your opponent's ships are and they can't see where yours, is, where yours are. Your defensive grid is where you keep uh, hiding your ships. You don't have to keep track of your opponent's guesses, but you can if you want to. Um, and your offensive grid is where you would try to guess and sink your opponent's battleships before they sink yours. All right, awesome job. I hope this is a fun activity. It's usually one of my most popular of the year. All right, best of luck, students.